Good there, folks. Good evening. It is the Earth Master here back on this Monday night, February 20th, 2023. It is about 9.42 p.m. here along the West Coast. And uh, latest earthquake looks like a 3.9 over here around Turkey. Uh, this comes following uh, some larger scale activity this morning with that 6.3 and uh, quite a bit of cluster of earthquake activity across the region. Also notice the movement up here into the Alaska region just coming in. Looks like a 5.8 uh, coming into the area. Let's uh, let's double check and see what's going on here. Uh, bear with me as I get this set up. I'm kind of using a different streaming software program as you guys can see here right now. A little bit different than the OBS system. I, some reason been having issues with that with the stream going down just intermittent data loss and uh that could be one of the uh, culprits in uh that issue i'm having so 5.8 coming in just a short time ago looks like about less than 10 minutes ago on a uh, near the uh, kodiak island area of alaska this is being reported by the emsc model this is the european model of course 5.8 47 kilometers deep now let's see if the usgs has issued anything yet yes they have this one a little bit different timestamp. this one shows uh well, almost half an hour ago oh no i take that take that back 2135 so we're looking at 10 minutes ago uh five point i don't know how i've seen that that's kind of weird 47 kilometers deep uh this looks like it's kind of in the area where the eight pointer struck here a couple years back but again the Aleutian Trench is a uh, major subduction zone, so I, I really don't associate uh, any specific earthquake activity uh, with past larger events. You know, it's almost always moving out here along the Aleutian Trench. Uh, but almost a six-pointer coming in here, 47 kilometers deep. We have been seeing a little bit of activity on the uptick across the Alaska region over the last few days. Um, if you remember, we had a, uh, let's see what we had here. Let's go seven days, 4.5 and, and above. Uh, maybe it was below that level. Uh, here we go through the Cook Inlet area. We did see uh, a 4.2, four pointer, a uh, couple noticeable uptick in uh, some, mo well, moderate earthquakes around the Cook Inlet area. Also, some deeper movement quakes as well. Um, so, yeah, just a matter of time before we had seen something a little bit further upstream along the Aleutian Trench. It's been relatively quiet as far as uh, sufficient movement goes here. Although, again, back in 2021, uh, we had that eight-pointer strike out here along the Aleutian Trench area. Um, see if anybody felt this earthquake out here. I don't know who's out there on the uh, Kodiak Island area. I don't know if anyone lives out there, to be honest. I'm sure they do. Looks like one report up here of some weak shaking. But, um, yeah. It is historically in an area that sees quite a bit of earthquake activity. The star being the epicenter. Some of these other quakes, and uh, of course we know what can kick up out here. Eight-pointers are uh, somewhat common in that area. Uh, they do have the Tsunami Warning Center down here. Uh, I don't believe there was any official tsunami statement. Um, this was put out uh, 935. These guys are showing it as a 5.6. Um, yeah, it looks like there was just an informational statement put out here uh, for the uh, West Coast. No tsunami expected. All right, uh, what else do we have? Looking at the broader view, Turkey still continuing to rock and roll out here. These guys just can't catch a break. Although most of the activity um, has been um, put out here along the south edge of the um, of all the activity. It's been kind of migrating here to the uh, southern edge of this region. I just want to make sure everything's good. Here on my end, um, alrighty. Like I say, I'm using some new software just to see if I can't fix these little issues I've been having with the YouTube live stream going down just randomly. <laughs> randomly. Had no clue it was down here about 8 o'clock. A couple folks let me know. I, I appreciate the heads up. Uh, so following that 6.3 this morning, we've seen uh, at least three more 
four pointers and of course we know there's quite a bit of further activity within this region uh, just the USGS not showing all of it uh, let's go over here to the EMSC and uh, we'll check out and see what's going on here as far as further activity goes last hour in the purple circle red in the last 24 hours so I'm still seeing some smaller quakes up here in the two and three range uh, around that area of Turkey where we've seen these seven pointers there um, well over a week ago now activity definitely continuing folks um, and that will continue no doubt for a little while uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is the migration of uh, earthquake activity here along that plate boundary just kind of all pointing towards a uh, you know maybe some further activity within one of these regions here maybe around cyprus or up uh, into areas around eastern turkey along this plate boundary uh, aside from that nothing showing up here across the mediterranean far as the usgs map goes um see some twos and threes it looks like across romania cyprus area atlantic ocean pretty calm 5.0 way down south into the South Sandwich Trench. Of course, I believe this one here was from last night, right? It was. Um, no, no, no. No, I take that back. It's not the 21st yet, at least not here along the West Coast. Some areas it is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was from earlier this evening, 5.0. And kind of been migrating south here along the trench. You guys notice that? Last seven days of uh, earthquake activity within this region uh, seems like it kind of started out up north here some deeper movement quakes and then working its way down south uh, so we'll continue to watch that area there for some uh, potential movement that one did see this area did see an eight pointer back uh, on the same year that the eight pointer struck along the Aleutian Trench <coughs> excuse me so yeah definitely a couple different areas being hit uh, today Further up north and to the west, northwest here along the Prue-Chile Trench. A couple earthquakes this morning and today. No major uptick uh, in movement. Glance here at the... Uh, let's see where I'm at. <laughs> what do we got? 3.7 coming in to the Prue-Chile Trench as we just speak about that. Uh, aside from that, looks like some smaller quakes further up north within that cluster area. Uh, off the coast of Panama, it looks like some activity in a little swarming area off the coast of Central America. 4.9, 4.9 appears to be the magic number out here. This is a plate boundary between the, uh, well, the Nazca and the Cocos plate here. A couple different fracture zones. You can see it out there in the oceanic crust. The Puerto Rico area, most of the movement today here around uh, the southwestern edge. Or typical swarming region. Uh, look at the goodness, look at the states, awfully quiet. Uh, going down into Southern California here, got a little bit, a little bit of activity lighting up. Uh, look at this little swarm here. When we see this, it's about five earthquakes, all within, um, well, roughly within minutes of each other. A little bit of activity further down south as well. This is just on the San Jacinto Fault Zone, one of the segments there. It looks like the Buck Ridge Fault, the Anza section. Uh, again, this area does see quite a bit of earthquake activity. Good indicator of some regional stress starting to pick up here in Southern Cal. Uh, we'll watch this area around the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault here for further movement. Let's see if we got anything above 2.5. Nothing. Zip zero along the west coast for 2.5 and above. Bay Area pretty quiet, uh, typical movement out here around Clear Lake, and looks like Northern California, we did have a 1.7 coming in, 22 kilometers deep, so on that note, let's check out the trimmer map here tonight along the Cascadia, and we have 154 epicenters of trimmer, but nowhere near Northern California, this is uh, positioned up around the Vancouver Island Range, southern end, just around the Victoria area. Haven't really seen any earthquake movement up there. Uh, well, you know, we did see this one early in the morning, uh, 4.1, kind of just off the coast here. See that? If you think about this, all that trimmer activity is occurring down dip, and this whole plate is being shoved underneath the North American region here. So um, if there's enough 
well, when there's enough strain here for the Cascadia, when it reaches at max, its maximum level, uh, that will pop and be a 9.0. But if there's not enough strain, obviously we get uh, further winding of that uh, that plate boundary here, the subduction zone. But also sometimes some earthquake activity does tend to uh, uh, get triggered out here off the coast uh, and away from that plate boundary, the subduction zone. All right, uh, where else? I've kind of been zigzagging, playing tic-tac-toe out here on the screen. Hawaii, 17 earthquakes, and most of that around the Pahala area. Not seeing any unusual activity or any unusual movement there across the volcanoes currently. Did see some deep movement out here along the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. We've been saying this quite a bit here, uh, and it's starting to show a little bit of uptick recently. Uh, and most of those quakes that do occur out here are some deeper movement quakes, 268 kilometers deep for that 4.6. A major subduction zone level here. I can't remember the accumulated slip, uh, slip rate each year, but it's up there. Uh, it's one of the more higher ones far as building up a lot of strain in a short amount of time. And uh, this is, you know, th this is definitely overdue, I would say, in terms of at least seeing a seven pointer out here along the Curl Kamchaka Trench. Around the Mariana Islands, did see some activity earlier today. Looks like uh, 4.5, some deeper movement activity, 336, 336 kilometers there into this region. We may want to watch areas upstream for some uh, subsequent activity here soon. All right, uh, what else we got here? Across the area, 4.3, 35 kilometers here to the northern end of the Java Trench. And uh, a bunch of activity back here in a train of earthquake uh, line here. You can kind of draw a line, connect the dots. Been pretty active across the last 24 hours there. Uh, around Fiji, most of the movement here today, all deep level earthquakes. Nothing showing up here across the Tonga Trench as far as shallower earthquake activity goes. And uh, New Zealand showing a 3.3 by the EMSC model here. So let, let's go ahead and go check it out uh, at the GeoNet servers as we uh, visit the folks there in New Zealand. One of these days, I'm, gonna, I'm de definitely going to get down there. 2.2, uh, there's 2.6, 2.3. I'm looking for the three-pointer. It looks like GeoNet reporting this as a 4.1, 206 kilometers deep into the uh, Kermadec Trench area. I don't know if that's the one that, uh, yeah, that looks like it's gonna be uh, just north into the Kermadec Trench, a timestamp of UTC 222. Um, so 222, in this case, is gonna be 3 p.m. Um, New Zealand time but uh, on the UTC chart there it was 222 so that's definitely our earthquake 4.1 uh, quick glance here at the volcanic drums see what's going on here across New Zealand uh, there's some activity prior that's I don't believe that's going to be the uh, 4.1 as you know this earthquake struck in the last three hours so uh, hard to say exactly where that uh, earthquake is here on the graph, but really not a whole lot showing it uh, across the volcanic drums here of New Zealand. And uh, let's see what else we have here for space weather activity. Or, uh, space weather, where am I? I'm not on the sun currently. Goodness, it's been a long, fun day, let me tell you. Um, all right, well, let's switch over to space weather here and see what we have. Uh, we did have a little bit of sea flare development. And by the way, you know, a lot of times I'll use this solar ham site. Uh, also, Timothy has a really cool site to check out. New Zealand Quakes here uh, is the website that Timothy uses. Uh, and this actually has quite a bit of information on it. Uh, not only in earthquake activity, but we're talking about uh, uh, space weather activity as well. Um, so check it out. Uh, it's New Zealand Quakes dot uh, online uh, is the site, and um, let's see what am I missing here? 
Uh, some stuff looks like it's missing. Not for sure what happened here. Maybe I got the wrong link up, up here. But uh, there was an option here to check a bunch of space weather. Not, not for sure what happened. All right. I think I got the wrong link in there. But either way, go check it out uh, if you get a chance. Timothy's got a pretty nice setup there of information. We'll get back to that tomorrow once I get my... Um, Get my uh, brain in order, so to speak. It is a Monday, so I'm entitled to uh, a little bit of slack, right? So, Earth or uh, space weather activity. Here comes a couple new sunspots here, 32, 34. A quick glance of that region definitely shows some uh, possible future flaring. Uh, this guy right here or source of the X 2.2 a few days ago is um, deteriorating not rapidly but uh, it doesn't look like it's gaining any strength here but we're noticing a little bit of stability within that structure of the sunspot uh, still though I think it poses a, a threat for some flare flaring I don't think it's gonna be X flare anymore but uh, we'll continue to watch that looks like 99 percent chance for a C flare M flare at 50 x flare uh, somewhat elevated there at 15 percent and i'm guessing that's due to 3229 still shows a uh, beta delta class but this image right here was when it was uh, a little bit more complex now it's not quite as complex and it looks a little uh, like it's like it's going to dissipate but who knows we'll continue to watch that and report on that um, so aside from these two sunspots here, uh, these other ones are drifting away on the western side of the sun. This one here is of no concern. Kind of looks like a creepy evil face here. Oh, I must be tired. I gotta be tired. I'm, I think I'm gonna call it a night here real soon. No major solar events headed our way far as the auroras go. Only minimal activity over the next three days or so, three nights. KP index sitting around a three. Little slightly unsettled conditions up there around the higher latitudes with the prob probability of auroras approaching maybe, maybe 40% up here into portions of Canada and into Alaska. All right, guys. Um, I think that's going to be it. And again, I'm just kind of uh, sorting things out here on my end far as the uh, new streaming software goes and uh, we'll just see how it goes i mean uh, obs has been running pretty good i that's the main software program i've been using for years that i've been live streaming here on the on the youtube channel but every once in a while it seems like it goes through these little phases here where it just pulls the plug on the stream the bit rate and the kbs go all over the place and it just it's really weird so i'm gonna see how uh see how this new one does and uh just go from there we'll figure it out eventually all right folks have a good night good monday night we'll be back here tomorrow sometime take care we'll catch you guys later